Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, very excited today. Got some uh, great news. Uh, I'm going to pick up our first electric vehicle. Well, technically, it's a plug in hybrid electric. Uh, and it's made by Mitsubishi and it's an Outlander. So in a couple of hours, Kim and I are going to go to the city and uh, pick up the car. So very excited. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll talk more about the car a little bit later. <laughs> Um, we're here at Miramu Dam in, I think, Melton Shire, Melton City Shire, and just to show you my new EV or PHEV, so it's a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, uh, and it has a range of 50 kilometres just on EV alone, but it also has, also has a small electric engine, uh, sorry, a small internal combustion engine that helps charge the battery if you want to go on a longer range. It has a 45 litre petrol tank, but we're rarely using petrol at the moment because we seem to be using EV, I put it in EV mode all the time, and doing small trips. I dare say if I was touring or something like that, it'll have to use petrol. Very fuel um, economic on fuel, um, and it has so many features that uh, we'll just go through it during the day. But uh, it drives like a dream, absolutely can't tell it's an EV. Um, well, I suppose you can tell it's an EV because you cannot hear any engine noise, and uh, uh, yeah, which is uh, which is fantastic, and it's absolutely, like I said, a dream to drive. So under the hood, you can see that we've got a an electric engine on the uh, on the right, and we've got an internal combustion engine. Uh, it's uh, two liters, or yeah, it's two liter engine, and that charges the the electric engine. Now there's one here in the front and there's one in the back which I can't actually show you. Um, so as far as uh, services and stuff like that, it doesn't need a heck of a lot because the, uh, the petrol engine rarely gets used when I'm going uphill or going over 120 kilometres an hour or something like that. You know, it's fairly compact in here, not much of an engine bay really when you look at it um, compared to uh, big gas guzzling cars. So we're currently parked and you can see there that in pure EV mode we've got 33 kilometres to run and you can see there on the left there's the battery charge so we're down a few bars there and we're just under a half a tank of uh, petrol now and when we got it yesterday from the service centre um, there wasn't very much petrol in it anyway it was just over half um, so we've done a few clicks probably about 200 already which is really good um, but the combined total of electric and petrol, I think it says 244 kilometres. So you've got an economy meter on the uh, on the left, and then you've just got uh, you've got the speedo on the right. So it tells you the energy flow on the car on the main dash as well. Uh, it also tells you uh, how many how green it is, what your fuel consumption. So currently. Uh, my average is 1.4 litres per 100 kilometres. Uh, EV driving mode, I've been using 90% on EV, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. This is like uh, the Apollo 11. More buttons you can press, it's incredible. But, uh, yeah, as far as charging costs and stuff like that, uh, you can put in the units, uh, how many cents per kilowatt hour you are actually using at home, and this will tell you how much it costs using the little graph there for uh, electricity for charging and the petrol to say electric ratio if you're only paying like two uh, 23 cents per kilowatt hour which uh, most of us are here in Australia uh, you're actually saving four times than you would if you were paying for petrol in this sort of car so the cost over uh, we, we're estimating it's a 10-year lifespan so the cost of running the car is dramatically reduced well, we, we're back home again now, and it's time to plug the car in. So, in the boot, get that away, is the charger unit with the Type 1 plug. So, I'll just get that out. Close the boot. And 
here's the charging port. The car. Now I can't plug it in yet because I haven't plugged in the, um, the charging unit down there. But I'll just show you. So you don't push anything, push it until it clicks. And that's it. It's not charging at the moment, so I'll just pull that out. Yeah, because I haven't got long enough cable. I'm gonna put extension lead on it. Charging, and you can see on the little unit there, it's charging. That's it. And if I had my phone, which Kim's got in the holder, I can tell you how many hours it's going to take as well. But uh, I'll take a quick screenshot of that to see. All right, that's it, and you leave it until you're ready to drive again. Simple as. Now, the good thing about the um, plugging unit here at home is that. Have a look at there. Most of our electricity is generated by solar power, so that is the best thing that I uh, I love about this EV is that it's renewable energy. Um, that is what we are running the car on. And while you're here, check out some of the other videos that I've made. You can subscribe to the channel and click that little bell to get notified when I release these twice weekly vlog episodes. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.